We're talking with Dr. Temple Grandin about advances that are helping to improve handling practices. One of those advances is the head heart stun, which is becoming popular with smaller processors. Temple, can you explain why it is uh, that some processors have switched recently over from head only stunning to the head heart stun? Well, with head only stunning in small plants, they were having a lot of problems with the uh, with pigs and other animals returning to sensibility. Because when you stun an animal on the head, it's a temporary stun. The animal is going to wake back up again in 15 to 30 seconds. And the problem is it's very difficult to get the animal bled within 15 seconds, especially with the slow, slow hoists that small plants have. So a real simple solution to the problem is uh, take the same stunner that you use on the head, you apply it to the head first, to make it unconscious, and then after you've made them unconscious, then you immediately apply the, uh, the stunner to the uh, side of the pig's body just behind the elbow, and that will stop the heart, and that solves the problem of return to sensibility. Okay, and then there's no additional equipment that needs to be purchased. This is simply no. a change in the stunning process, correct? No, you use the same piece of equipment. In fact, a lot of small plants have that V and D a stunner that has a Y-shaped electrode, sort of looks like two cowboy spurs, and you put it on just behind the pig's ears, and that will render it unconscious. And one of the ways you can make sure that it's rendering it unconscious is you'll see a tonic phase and a clonic phase of spasm, a rigid phase and then a paddling phase. And then you want to apply it to the chest while it's still in the, uh, in the rigid phase. No, you don't have to buy any additional equipment. You just um, apply the stunner on the head first, and then you put it on the chest. Now, I know you helped author a, a paper on this. How long has the head heart stun been in practice? Well, uh, Kurt Vogel's paper was just in, it was Kurt Vogel and Erica Vogue that did the, were big, uh, who did most of the work on that paper. Okay. And, uh, you know, the paper came out just recently, uh, uh, so gradually we've just been, you know, telling more plants about it, and I think it needs to become standard practice in small plants. And some pl plants might be concerned that, um, you know, they might get more blood spotting in the meat by doing this. Well, one of the reasons why, why that hasn't happened is you're putting it on the side of the body right behind the elbow. You're not putting that second stun right on the back, you know, right over the loin. You're getting it good and far away from the loins. And how much does the head heart stun increase the stun to bleed interval? Well, on a vast majority of pigs, it kills them, so it doesn't matter what the stun-to-bleed interval is. Though I still recommend trying to bleed within uh, 30 seconds, 60 seconds max, because when you cardiac arrest pigs, even the great big huge plants that use cardiac arrest, there are few pigs, and I mean like maybe one in a thousand, where you don't achieve cardiac arrest. So to make sure that 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 pig doesn't wake up you still want to bleed properly but you don't have to do it in 15 seconds which in a small plant with a slow hoist is just about possible right and it seems like a, a such a simple simple pro process uh, why why haven't other small processors uh, adopted this practice uh, yet well they just didn't know about it i mean one of the problems you have in small plants is a lot of them were really isolated they don't get out and go to many meetings and they just simply didn't know about it. There's a lot of people that just don't know about proper stunning. I've been to several small plants where they were they didn't know that you have to have the current go through the brain, and they were just stunning a pig on the body only, and that would achieve cardiac arrest, but it would torture the pig because the brain was not in the circuit. They just didn't know any better. You know, a lot of this is just lack of knowledge.